What's up guys, my name is Cody and welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we've got a Mutt Salary Cap gameplay. There you see some of my players. I've got basically, my offense is running Arizona on offense and running Green Bay on defense. Um, I really like I really like Baltimore on defense, their defensive playbook. But the Packers playbook, I think, is just the, the dime one four six to me is just it's just the best pass defense that I've been able to find this year. So good balance of pressure and then a lot of really good coverages. So I run with that on offense. I'm still running Arizona. And here's the thing that I want you to know about my offense um, with Arizona book. It's a very pass based offense. When you're playing in much salary cap uh, and you're playing against high level players, one of the things that I'm starting to notice with Arizona, one of the challenges is, and really with any, you know, high level Madden, if you're in the passing world, what some of the better defensive teams, some of the better defensive opponents that you're going to play, what they're going to do is they're going to blitz you a lot. And so, you know, that's kind of been my experience so far getting on here. So trying to kind of figure out a, a good method to beating the blitz and a good Tampa two blitz is, um, is really difficult to beat this year. This is just my perspective. You know, even Gun Bunch, and part of the reason why people like running Gun Bunch is because, to a degree, it's it's kind of blitz proof, right? You've got you've got the ability to, you know, have good pass protection. You can block as many as eight players uh, on one pass play. So that's one of the reasons I think a lot of people have been going with Arizona, so or uh, with the West Coast book, and specifically with the Gun Bunch, if they are a passing related offense. What I want you to know that I'm trying to do and trying to get better at with Arizona, that doesn't mean you can't use Arizona. That just means you've got to really mentally focus on executing your reads to perfection, executing them very fastly. And it makes you a better passer, in my opinion. But I just got quick progressions. Where am I going with the ball? You know, to me, it's very, very, very fast. Everything has to happen. And I've kind of got a mental clock in my head now of I'm going to look there, look here, look there. And then if it doesn't open up, I'm either going to take off or I'm going to I'm going to look to what the pressure is doing, because more than likely, um, more than likely, I'm going to be under the gun. And don't be afraid to roll out, throw it away or even take a sack. One of the mistakes that I've consistently made, though, is is I will kind of run backwards, which I think we all have made that mistake at some point. But uh, but anyway, here we go. So this is the standard mesh play. Um, and there, I've been seeing that running back route actually work really well, depending on, a lot of it depends on what the user of the opponent does. And what I've found is that a lot of people, when you're playing, this year anyway, is that running back route will kind of open up. It just, it's a little bit later than what I'd like. I'd like it to pop open like right at the snap of the ball, but it typically takes a little bit. And again, a good user can kind of mess with that a little bit. So here you see, this is my, this is that cover zero deal. So I've got stick and just kind of max protecting up. And he goes with that cover, too. I'm able to kind of slip it in behind him, but he doesn't. John Rosh doesn't get his foot down. I'm also noticing this year, um, you manually or user catching the post or the corner routes. Or not the corner routes. The um, Pretty much any route, actually. But specifically those streaks and stuff. Right there, just like that. That little swerve into the out is really critical to get not only good, you get better animations, but it kind of shields them, shields the ball um, from being able to get, you know, taken. So again, just another quick tip. You basically click on your user catching it um, here. There's the rollout. And that's really a perfect close to perfect drive for the offense coming out of the gate, which is great because I think I just probably had the worst drive I've ever had. Um, on the offensive side of the ball in the last game that I played um, through like six interceptions, the pressure was just crazy and just did not have a good game. And Randall Cunningham is going to get in. That's why I recommend, you know, this year more than, especially if you're going to pass the ball uh, a lot, you really do need a mobile quarterback that has dashing dead eye and escape artist. Now, if you're not careful, you'll rely on those two abilities as opposed to actually stepping up in the pocket and delivering the ball. It's really critical though. If you can learn how to master doing both, you're going to have 
uh, a pretty fun time in this year's game uh, passing the ball. So what I like to do, I kind of start everybody out the same, and I go pretty sick, you know, max coverage Tampa 2 right off the bat, and I'm just kind of trying to just kind of take all the standard things away. I'm looking for the crossing routes. Typically that that uh, middle guy is going to come, and here he's just going to max protect. There, was, there you see there's that good blitz that you can do from this set. I don't even have my guys in yet. But uh, let's see if I can't get... Shazir, there we go. But I'll sit in that cover to sink. Um, two man pressure from the dime one four six for the majority of the um, first drive, just to kind of see. And I'm watching for the corner route, and there I got him on the rollout. But you see, he's got Michael Vick. He's running the, the, the really probably what I, what I was talking about, the reason people like the gun bunch, he's running the um, eight-man um, protection scheme. Looking at that corner route on that left side, we're just going to blitz. But there you see there's verticals, and he does pick me apart on that one with that tight end route. Now we're going to stay so watch that uh, left side or that right side and more than likely you'll see there's the two man protection so you know Opie's coming all the way across and we were right there on it I think that was just a motion across slant route What I might do here is send a little bit extra pressure just to let him know. And what I like to do is those inverted ones with the clouds. And then my job is kind of the underneath middle. And then if anyone goes wide deep over the top, like if that left side guy goes, then I'm going. But he's probably going to bring that slant right across my face again. Right there and there, I was just a timing thing. Was able to get him down, and that's all about timing the pressure. You know, one of the things that you got to learn to do, and that I've got to be better about on defense, um, is when you blitz, timing. How long do you need to last? Right? How long do you need to last in coverage? That's one of the critical things. Um, here we're gonna man line and press a little bit here. Just get a little bump and run action on that bunch, and then my job is the tight end here. Kind of watch. And there's that max protect. There's the corner route. And man, that was a good. He was able to get off the bump pretty easy, pretty successfully there. That's also why I like these um, delay bumps. So here, three, you know, basically cover three man. Um, and then what I'll do is I'll take that slot guy and and try to try to get him onto somebody. So because I know he's probably going to run that, I just says this is just cover three man, and then my job is the middle of the field. No one's running, no one's guarding the running back. I'm basically this guy going to lurk the middle of the field, and we'll see what he does here. And there's that corner route. Ah, he got me. One of the challenges I'm having with my defense right now is we're not doing a great job. Um. And actually what I'm going to do is, this is a little bit of an adjustment I'm going to make, but I'm going to take DeMarcus Lawrence, put him at the nose tackle, Harold Landry there. And... Here we go, just going to blitz two. Just going to go man to man. We'll see here. And we just got lucky on that one. He basically caught me out of position. I was in this dime two three six, which I did not want to be in. I was trying to put the cover four in my audibles. So 
So here I should have a little bit better, better spy leverage. But once he rolls out, you know, that's kind of one of the key to with escape artists. If you put a good quarterback spy out there, you'll typically be, you'll be okay. But here we're playing over the top coverage. We're covering the sticks. He's probably going to go max protect. Nope, he's going to bring him across on the slant route. Now watch this left slot receiver to see what he does. There's a post, a little cross. And looks like he's going to check it down. Got him on a fourth and, fourth and long here. So here, this is kind of risky, but I'm going to... This is not what I want. I'm in cover four. I wanted to be in DB Sting. But once he moves out... Now he's got to make some make too many people miss. So there was a good, you know, that was a pretty good possession. Defense bend, but don't break. I wanted to be in DB Sting, but it's probably actually better. I was in that cover four drop. But against mobile quarterbacks, what I find, and this is just my perspective, but I really do find max coverage with a good quarterback spy, someone fast enough to be able to get them when they roll out, to be absolutely, absolutely essential. John Ross, and John Ross is probably, you know, next to Randall Cunningham, John Ross is probably my second best player. Got the route chemistry on him. I think he's one of the faster receivers that I have, if not the fastest. But here you're going to see good old-fashioned mess, mesh. And there's the cover two. And that's what I'm saying. That running back route typically is open. They don't know how to use her. You know, it's just what's 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 typically challenging for me is it's typically challenging when they blitz, which you're seeing he's kind of starting to do a little bit of that, right? But right there, the sit, and you got to be willing to take that route. You know, it's just a simple check down read, two yard route, but it can mean so much for your offense if you're able to consistently take that. And there you see Marcus Allen. There's my escape artist is going to come into play for me. John Ross slips up for a first down gain. So going with a little bit of a heavy press look, this is where I really like Y stick. If he bumps me. I should be able to get that pass lead to the right, toe tap myself on the backside, and then we're able to get in the end zone. The thing about Arizona's offensive playbook, and I'll say this, I'll say this, you know, as long as I play this year, this year's Madden. Arizona's offensive book has the answer for every defense you will face. That just kind of like the Oakland book does when you're if you're thinking about the run. For the pass, I have every type of pass that I could want to have, every type of route that I could want to have from this from this specific playbook. The challenge is they're not it's not gonna all come from one formation. Here you're gonna see one of my favorite routes. Throw it to the running back in the back of the end zone, and you'll see that almost if they're in zone, almost no zone will stay with him, and he'll just kind of sit back there and able to kind of sit back for two. And I've thrown that so many times. But defensively here, we're kind of in the driver's seat. And what I like to do, once I've kind of got to this point, I really think man is, you know, cover three man is really hard to beat this year. Really hard to beat. And we'll see if I'm right here. As I say that, I get roasted. And I need to move. Problem is, I just don't have... Don't have the... I'm 
don't have the speed at the defensive lineman position in my lineup. It's really critical for that middle nose guard, if you're not going to blitz him, for him to be a good quarterback spy guy. He's able to work me up a little bit. I'm going to move him back outside. We're just going to blitz three so we get those one-on-ones. Oh, I don't know how I didn't catch that. So here, this is just kind of standard uh, cover three or cover two, uh, Tampa two. I'm going to sit in the middle with Shazir, no spy. And if he rolls out, we're trusting the pressure. If he rolls. Oh, should have been a pick. So here, just blitzing two guys off that edge. My job at right seam. Oh, what a... I don't know how he did that. My defender did not respond well. Pretty good drive by him. And it looks like he's going to have some momentum going into the second half. So 16 to 7. I'm gonna try to take one more play, see if he just makes a mistake. I've not done it. I'm not had a lot of success with returning kicks this year. Let me make sure this it is set up. Okay. So gun spread. All right, PA read is one of the plays that I really like for big play situations. And he run commits, and we're just going to eat it. Probably could have hit that crosser, but I was trying to hit the home run, and it just wasn't open. So we'll take it to half, and I think he gets ball, yep. So we're going to have to be on our A game defensively, but luckily we're still up by two possessions. Luckily we're still up, still up by two possessions. All right. So defensively, um, I think he struggled a lot with that cover two sink. He still hasn't really been able to do much against that. Just that simple cover to sink. There's a, that ah, should have been an interception. Dang it. Alrighty. So this is just going to be a lot of this cover to sink off the left edge because he's left-handed. So I want to make him roll to the right. I've got the spy on that side. Okay, so he goes that way. I've got the three red hook over the middle. You know, in theory, I should be able to sit in this for a long time. There's Pat Tillman. There you see when you get greedy. And we'll just take the ball. But that cover two sink, everything he's trying to do, that cover two sink slows down. As long as I don't allow that slant route over the middle of the field. So I think he might be a little frustrated. He's going to go ahead and concede to us. But that's the video.